Good morning. I just want to take a minute to echo Michelle's thank you to all of you. Um, the positive difference you're making in your communities is great and becoming even greater during this um, time in high need where it doesn't seem to be slowing down. This is always one of the best days of the year, um, and it's been a long time since we've been able to do it live and in person. A lot's happened since 2019. So I'm really excited that we can come together and we can learn and look at new ways that we can ensure that every Iowan has access to enough nutritious food. I'm so honored to work alongside partners like you. As Michelle said, I started as an RPC on the road. I see friendly faces um, from my first uh, few years at the food bank. And so um, without you, we know that we can't do this work. You're the ones who hand it to the neighbors in need. I'd like to take a moment to go ahead and introduce the RPCs, uh, introduce that team to you. Um, the regional partnership coordinators are the customer service reps for each region. They make sure your county is well served and your agency get, gets what it needs from the food bank. I hope you'll continue to build a relationship with your RPC and reach out anytime you have a question. These professionals are your direct connection to the food bank and they're always ready to help. Um, if you'd please stand, I'm going to point them all out to you. In case you're new to the food bank and, and you're going to meet them for the first time at this conference, um, Marie Peterson is our regional partnership manager for Region 4, which is Polk County, and then she's over there in the corner. Um, Ty Harris is the RBC for my old region, Region 2. Um, back in the corner there, too. Neil Rosenberg is the RPC for Region 5, which is Southeast Iowa. And then our newest RPCs, we had two that joined at the end of October. Betsy Armington covers Region 3 in Central and South Central Iowa. And then we have Ashley Kappel here, who is the RPC for Region 1 in Northeast Iowa. So these are the folks who are here solely to make your job easier. So please, um, they're, they're amazing. They are amazing. Um, in addition to that, I'd also like to recognize Sonia Lashier um, back in the corner, if you'd just stand. Um, you might recall that she also started out as an RPC, but for the past two years, she's worked tirelessly as our retail donation manager. Uh, many of you have met her um, or gotten emails from her or phone calls um, where um, retail food rescue is available. And she is solely responsible for increasing food rescue from our retail partners, reducing food waste, and getting more of that wholesome food to you and to those in need. That's why it's so important every month when we ask you to weigh and report retail pounds that we receive accurate numbers for, from you promptly. We appreciate your attention to this because it allows us to get more perfectly good food to your pantries and onto dinner tables. So. Um, please, yeah, speak with Sonia and, and visit with her. Um, and this is increasingly important. We're ending our fiscal year June 30th, and so we have to have every statistic and every number in by the end of June. So especially this month, please definitely get those numbers in as you would um, any other time but on time. Uh, we have several other food bankers here today. I uh, just want to call those out. I'll ask them just to quickly stand up as a group. Anybody else here with the food bank? Um, I know you work with many of them, so just seek out the people wearing Food Bank of Iowa name badges today so that you can connect names and faces. If everybody, just wave. If you're a food bank person, um, yeah, just say hello to, to the folks um, that work tirelessly behind the scenes at the food bank. Um, a few housekeeping notes as we get underway. In your folder, there's a brief agency survey. If you would take some time today to, to fill that out, we will have a cookie break later this afternoon, which would be a perfect time, or any time you have a few minutes. If you would fill out and return the survey there, um, and then there's a second one where you're um, filling out a survey about the conference. Of course, you do that at the end. Um, if you would complete those, that's how we find out what you need and what we can do to, to help with the work you do. If you haven't already done so, please see Laura Sheriff. She's out at the, um, there she is, Laura. Um, 
To enter your organization in the drawing for $100 credit on your account, we'll do a drawing for each region. So that's five um, separate partners that will receive $100 on their account. You have to be present to win, and it's done at the end of the day. And then there's also um, a great resource to you that comes to you monthly via email. I don't know how many of you read your partner agency newsletter that comes out every month. It's jam-packed full of great information. Annette, if you just wave, Annette writes those. She includes recipes that are helpful with in ingredients and, and product found at the food bank, um, and keeping in mind the additional ingredients that are included in those recipes are um, economical, and so something that you might want to share with the folks you serve. Um, but last but not least, I want to share one piece of feedback from our partners that we're already ready to implement. This was made possible with the expansion that Michelle just spoke of. We now have the space. Um, many of us have told, many of you have told us and when we have visited your pantries and spoken with you and seen um, your spaces, that you're purchasing toilet paper, you're purchasing laundry detergent, you're purchasing personal hygiene items. These are items that are so important. They can't be bought with SNAP dollars. Um, you know, so these are very important items that are costing folks um, who are on such a limited budget um, to, to consider whether or not they can even afford those things. And so we heard from many, many of you that you're going to Walmart, you're going to you know, Dollar General, you're buying things as cheaply as possible. Um, we are now going to uh, provide at wholesale pricing. We'll buy by the truckload and then we will allow you to purchase that in the Purchase Plus model at the Food Bank of Iowa where you can receive those items paying what we paid for them, wholesale pricing. So look for those to come this summer. Um, with our construction just finished up this week, um, we're, we're not wasting any time. So that's something that we hope that will be a great value to you. So as I said, fill out your surveys. Anytime there's a survey, it's because we truly want to know what we can do better for you. And if we don't hear from you, we don't know what we can do better. But it's our intention to always do better for you. And you know, of course, our emphasis has always been on food, as it should be. We're a food bank. That's where our donor dollars are focused. When people donate to the Food Bank of Iowa, they assume that they're purchasing, that we're using food or using their dollars to purchase food, and we do. But, you know, we don't charge for the food. There's a nominal handling fee um, associated with acquiring, storing, and transporting the food. So these non-food items will be dollars in, dollars out. We'll, we'll just give them to you at the pricing that we pay for those so that there is no, um, there's no markup on those. So watch for that. There will be information on that in the newsletter, too, coming up. And of course, as you jump into primary issues, you'll see them added onto inventory. Um, and we do have one conference change here. Um, Dr. Ressler, unfortunately, is ill this morning. And she was going to be our second general session um, speaker. And so what we're doing is we're moving our Emily Shearer, all about food sourcing, session will be in here following the first session. So we moved one of our afternoon sessions up to this morning um, due to um, illness with Dr. Ressler. We hope to have her back next year. And we assume, and, and sadly enough, that breakout will still be, or that burnout will still be a topic of conversation that people would like to hear about next year. So um, we hope to have her back for that. 